Here is everything you need to know about the save point device in Fortnite UEFN. First a demonstration. I'll start by giving myself some weapons. Then, I step on the save trigger to store my data. Next, I drop everything from my inventory and step on the load trigger. As you can see, it restores all the weapons I had when I activated the save trigger. Let's take a look how this device works. When a player saves their data, it is stored on the Fortnite servers. This means that even if the player leaves the game, they can return later and still access their saved data. This feature allows players to pick up right where they left off. Let's go over the options for this device. First, you can decide whether to enable auto save and auto load. If you enable this, you can choose when auto load should be activated. Only on initial spawn, at game start, round start, or at every spawn. Next, you can select which items you want to be savable. The options include loadout, resources, gold, checkpoints, player location, team, and class. Here you can decide if players can delete their saved data from the game menu. There are also some other stats like eliminations or collide scores you could choose to save. Finally, there are options to call functions on the device and events to listen for. For now, the save point device can only be activated with a trigger device, not in verse. Epic Games is expected to enable verse integration later. The save and load player functions are straightforward. The device can be enabled or disabled, and you can clear data or save and load for all players. Events can be triggered when a function is called. For example, on activation can notify the player that their progress is being saved. Similar events exist for loading and clearing data. Thanks for watching.